want to consider investing in oil and gas. Now, some of the reasons might be the, the high financial rewards that are available, uh, the possible return of capital in a very short amount of time. Also, gas and oil uh, projects uh, are treated very favorably from a tax perspective. Each deal or play is marketed by itself. Revenue from previous or future projects are not part of the offering, and as such, the investor can assess the risk and reward of a given project. If we were to look at a reservoir rock and a powerful magnifying glass, we would see that there are tiny spaces between the individual grains that make up the rock. And the first commercial oil well was drilled nearby to release more of the oil. The oil industry as we know it was born. Most source rocks are shales, and shale just started life as mud. And the muckier, nastier the mud was, the better, because that meant it had organic material. Holes must be made in the casing. This process, known as perforating, is achieved by lowering into the hole an instrument that sets off explosive charges that fire bullets through the casing and into the rock. Well, when they get to a point where they want to do a drill stem test, then what you do is you usually circulate, make sure you get your hole clean. Where they come back, they're recorded. And then in the computer, you can sort it all out, and you can better put back where it belongs in the earth so that your models are much more meaningful. Oil fields employ one or more primary oil drive mechanisms. Some oil drive mechanisms, such as solution gas drives, are poor drive mechanisms. Whenever I'm looking at a particular program and I'm trying to analyze it, I do a variety of different stuff. Certainly one of the things I look for is the relationship that I've established uh, with a particular operator. 